Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you Claude Flow, but I'm going to be using my benchmark that I always use to see how much of an improvement this actually is over just using Claude code, just for a simple task like building a service-based website. This is the website that Claude Sonnet made the day Sonnet 3.7 was released. This was using Klein. This was, this is kind of the benchmark, right? Like, is it better than this? Does it look as good as this, et cetera, et cetera. And the other thing I like to test for is, can it build the entire project without pissing me off, right? They're the two kind of benchmarks that we're looking at here. Now, Claude Flow, someone left me a comment yesterday saying, why don't you put the link to Claude Flow in the description of your video? What I actually did was tell people to Google Claude Flow. That's hilarious. That's my video right there. Um, if you don't know, if someone Googles Claude Flow and clicks this, it's actually better than me putting it in the description because this will make sure that it is sticky and will stick to the top of Google because people are clicking it for that keyword. So I'm actually doing them a favor saying, uh, go on Google and search for it. Now I set this up, you can watch the video um, that I made the other day on Claude Flow. I'm not gonna be talking about the setup today. Instead, I'm just gonna be going straight into the benchmark. But just before we hit the benchmark, let's actually have a look at the uh, conversation, right? So I started it with a really, really long prompt, which is my service-based niche prompt. And then it started all of these different processes. It started a few different coders at the same time. It did the SPARC thing, the Spark, uh, whatever. And it created it all. It did take a little bit of time. I don't mind that. Um, it's just something was going wrong. But then eventually it managed to build the app, which is the important part of the process because it actually built. And then we can actually just jump straight into the kind of review of the website. This is by far, there are no images here, but this is by far the best looking one that I have ever seen. This has a beautiful little scroll animation here, really nice SVGs. This is a bit messed up color wise, but you can just uh, change some of the colors. Same thing here, some of the colors are messed up, but overall you can just see this is an incredibly well-made website. There's a 404 there. I was kind of hoping there were no 404s. There are a few 404s actually, annoyingly. Uh, I also did not ask you to do French, so I don't know why there's French there. This has gone a little off the off off the beaten track, so to speak. This I did not ask it to. I told it to do English and Italian. Okay, so there is Italian here, but that is kind of confusing that it doesn't have Italian here. That's kind of stupid. But let's have a look. So the contact us page looks incredible as well. There are a few things missing, like I said. Um, it's not perfect, uh, but overall, this is a pretty damn good site. I mean, look at that for fuck's sake. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. And then the individual pages, These. this is the important thing, right? Things like a service page uh, or locations or whatever, we can just make or like a contact page or wait, which one was 404? The about us page or whatever. You can always come back and make those another time, right? The important thing is that like the overall build has been successful and you can just see the quality. And also you can see the individual SEO pages here, for example, luxury, Catering in Salerno, our locations, uh, Rolls Royce, Ghost, Rent. That's a really long meta title, actually, but there you go. That is really good looking. Look at that. Beautiful. Buffalo mozzarella. I mean, that's just generally true of anywhere in Campania. Chialatelli. I don't know how to pronounce that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful website, though. Overall, I would say just over using Claude Code, you're going to get something a little bit different, and it's not going to look like all of the standard kind of websites that Claude Code shits out. So this is definitely a an improvement on that. But yeah, there are still some 404 issues. There's still some issues with Italian not being up here. Um, there's, yeah, just a, a couple of issues that I would like to fix. Uh, but overall, it's done a pretty fantastic job, to be honest with you. I'll just talk briefly about how I actually set up Claude Flow. What I do is I, um, I set up the Next.js project, right? And then you just got to run... You have to run uh, basically these commands at the top, right? So make sure Claude Code is installed, make sure alpha init force, whatever is running. And then you, this is the important thing here, npx Claude flow alpha swarm. Whatever you write in between these two um, speech marks is what, it's like the init.md or initial.md on context engineering, right? It's what it's supposed to be building. So you can ask ChatGPT to put like a really long description in here which is what I did for this. So like my actual prompt was really, really long. Um, and I actually had to get ChatGPT to format it. Once you've done this, or if you want to launch one of the more complex ones, like the Hive Mind Spawn, which I'll test in another video, I tested the Alpha Swarm for now. 
And yeah, this is pretty much the entire process. This is, I would say, the best building experience that I've had so far, better than Claude Code. I would say better than Archon. I know I made a video earlier about Archon, but uh, Archon is also slightly different, right? This is kind of um, doing something specific. This is building an entire project, whereas Archon is just adding a feature to an already existing project. But building an entire project is more interesting to me than um, adding a new project to an already existing project, which I think personally Claude Code can already handle fairly well. I'll leave the video there, guys. Everything will be in the description of the video as usual. Um, and yeah, check out Claude Flow because this is an extremely interesting project that I think with a little bit more um, contribution and a little bit more people kind of helping with the project and a little bit more experimentation, this is the way forward because it, the, the really cool thing about Claude Flow is that it basically generates these custom agents where instead of Claude Code system prompt being used, it actually uses a specific agent prompt for the coder, for example, or the QA or whatever else there is. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.